Okay, this gets good. Larry, um, this is just uh, this was sent to me. Everything you said was a hundred percent true. She's screwing two guys over recent work doing uh, that were doing work on her house carpentry. Didn't pay them. She offered them ice cream instead as payment. I'm told. Anyway, that's you say. Uh, do a video on it. She's pissed about the video that you did on her, and she can't get it removed. She's reported to police uh, too, but. She couldn't get them to do anything. They wouldn't do anything. Um, so this is the, the bottom of the document is basically it's just a bit of gibberish. Um, but the bottom of the document is um, uh, the subject is Deborah and it's to City Metro Transport and it's from Muddy. Um, uh, Midi, sorry, he's at the top. <coughs> um, you need to watch this. There's a video. It's um, uh, been deleted. Uh, attached names of fugitives she's harboring. And the number she contacts him on, Mark. I redacted the surnames of these two guys because no point in um, kicking someone when they're down. Mark, uh, such and such, along with uh, his son Troy, staying with anyone of uh, staying with anyone. The property is attached, but mainly the Tamil one, 20 Edinburgh, Edinburgh Road, where they currently make drugs for Deborah. Uh, sells for a guy named. Ben, who's a brother of a guy named Chris, that once lived at a property at Buxton. There's no surnames, there's no phone numbers, you know, blah, blah, blah. Phone, phone records, texts, and uh, Facebook uh, messages will confirm. There's an illegal immigrant. <laughs> now, this is all years ago, so she's moved on. Uh, there's an illegal immigration immigrant there named such and such, a Puerto Rican guy. The property is in a guy, uh, guy's name named Nick. It's not word of the way, but that's what it's trying to mean. Deborah pays rent uh, uh, there nine hundred dollars per week, at an angle, and then five. Uh, five uh, sorry, uh, anyway, she pays nine hundred dollars for one property, at an angle, Street Picton, and five hundred dollars for um, another one. And I think he means the one in uh, uh, the the one in. Um, uh, Picton, uh, five hundred dollars per week. Grows drugs in back room, and there's white powder everywhere. Plus mortgage in uh, Erith Road. Uh, I don't know how she does it and lives on one wage. So I went to her Picton place near the station where she was paying. Uh, her house at Erith. Um, what is it? Uh, uh, Erith Road, I think it is. Uh, Buxton. I've been there. And we went to another property, which was about five acres, about five to nine acres. No, it was about, no, it was about nine acres, um, where they were growing um, uh, Lebanese, oh shit, um, Lebanese gooseberries or some shit. Um, the property behind Buxton School is also where the fugitive stays from time to time, and he drives them all around in his ex limo and hire car. He's disabled. Uh, his name's John. The property at Erith Road, uh, that's Erith Road, Buxton. Uh, she used to grow drugs in the studio at the back where Mark 
such and such uh, lived. Uh, uh, a guy named Chris was living there and left the place a mess. Uh, I was recently employed to clean it up for her. Um, it's now for sale, that property, so Deborah can leave her job, but she intends to send Mark there to make drugs. Doesn't make a lot of sense, that, but anyway. Um, uh, th they hire cars from Sydney and drive around unlicensed. Here's a link to Mark and his son, Troy. Uh, Deborah is using anyone uh, uh, anyone to get what she wants. She's hiding her drug money in the work safe in Picton Station. Uh, picture attached. De De she, he sent me a, bit, a picture of a big pile of money. Uh, Deborah is providing, it was like two house bricks worth of 50s and 100s. Deborah is providing drugs to New South Wales, to a New South Wales rail employee that is on leave, supposedly sick. She sends packages on the train line through her friend Deb, who also works on New South Wales trains, and she rents the Picton uh, house off. Our CCT will confirm this. Deborah uses work computer and printer for anti-government research and does this on work time. Uh, complaints already been made against her having random people go into her work and smoking and talking on the phone during work time. She is looking up property to buy it, also to uh, send other people to make drugs at. She hides behind a rail job as a front so no one notices. It's a good cover, little old lady working at a train station. Uh, she has hepatitis and doesn't advertise, advise her workers or colleagues. Deborah goes under blah blah, but is known as blah blah. She, uh, she hears her previous identity. She hides her previous identity from Rail New South Wales on purpose. Checks will confirm her illegal activities and preclude her from holding a job or a particular type of government job. Uh, Mr. Hall is also from, uh, I won't say where, and works for New South Wales uh, <laughs> Rail as an investigator. He can confirm, <coughs> he, he can confirm all this. Uh, his son, I won't say, stayed at 243 Menangle Street and has photos uh, and information. I'm pretty sure uh, 243 Menangle Street is picked in where I, where I stayed, where she had the grow house out the back in the, in the third room. Now it gets into the paranormal. Um, uh, Joe, everything you said about her is 100% true. She, she screwed over two guys. And I read that. Wee. My way. <coughs> so... So I, I, I sent this to someone who wanted confirmation. Uh, anyone who asks, I send it to them. Um, obviously, the condition is you don't you don't make it private, uh, make it public, and if you do, you delete people's private details. Um, but I can't control anything that you do. Uh, so this is basically going to be talking about uh, the black fellas that she supplies drugs to and sent around to this house to threaten me, but now end up um, intimidate my mum. They try to six spirit me. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I had a dream where these reptile-like creatures, basically reptiles standing up black as, looked at me and they went, <laughs> it was like a language, but it was like a, how the black fellas and their karabis go, <laughs> and it was, a, it was a language and it came at me and it shook me, literally shook me. A bit, uh, bit like um, I was, uh, an old corporal um, took us through a, uh, into an artillery range that was active, and we went. He took us the wrong way, and we, we came in contact with, um, I think it was one five five artillery. Um, uh, I can't remember the size of the artillery now, but uh, it was the large ones, uh, the eight twelve artillery were firing, um, and uh, at uh, Shellwater Bay, and we were like hundreds of meters away, and the fucking ground went. I'm guessing we were hundred and hundreds of meters away, but um, the fucking ground went like this, and we were shell shocked, and we were just fucking run. It was like an episode of Forrest Gump, but we just turned in the opposite direction and ran. And um, it was a bit like that. The, the the shock went through my body, and I just um, hand on my heart, I can only tell you what I've experienced. Um, I just roared at them, all my energy, it just blasted out, right? 
and um, it stopped them in their tracks, and then I woke up, and that was essentially what happened. Um, now I'm going to read what's in here, and it's just as out there. Uh, six spirit question mark. If you mean bad spirits in in a curse from the blackfellas, I'm protected. Always have been. Only die a mortal death. Um, I was just my response, but he sent me this bit, and my response is on top. So, um, uh, uh, September 16th, uh, this is, it just reads backwards, this, um, uh, this is from Midi anyway, Midi, uh, to Joseph. See attached, I gave Mark your video about her, she was hiding it from him, uh, sly cunt of a thing it is, she got muds to six spirit you, I, uh, I got a call from him, uh, yesterday, uh, to LOL. I'm told, I told him, uh, don't involve yourself, she will bring you down. He tried to threaten me uh, with uh, spirit. I said, don't go there. He's only doing it because she gives him shit, weed. Uh, she, she got, uh, no, she's got no one, nothing, she's a loser. Wanna be hillbilly house, oh queen, lol. She deals pot, for fuck's sake. Uh, I told Mark, um, too, he's, he's a, a, a slimy cunt. Uh, on the run from the Queensland cops. Filthy, filth they are, scammers. You want me to call you, Pete? Um, so that's from uh, uh, Midi. And uh, this is what's been going on. Right? The, it's a twisted tale. Um, it's... Uh, <coughs> she's basically um, telling people she can win in court. She's giving them little tricks, and I believe she's uh, an order of the Morning Star. Um, that's just my belief, anyway. I'm, I'm putting two and two together. It's hearsay. Um, it, it, it's funny. It's like there are there are Freemasons in jail. Uh, Rick Swift told me there's a Freemason in jail, and he's doing time for murder. And he said he was part of the Freemason Rifle Club, and he said he was protected. Because uh, he was helping, uh, he was helping his celly out, and they were in the infirmary, infirmary in Western Australia. Um, the 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 stories are are bizarre. Um, she's notary. She's got a seal. Um, it's an ecclesiastical position, as far as I know. It's either issued by the Anglican Church or the Church of England. I can't remember from from memory. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're basically um, going around. I mean, cannabis, the, the, no government can make uh, an, a plant illegal. It's a physical impossibility. Their own Bible, their own uh, Bible says you were given the plant and herbal seeds to eat and to be your medicine. Medicine's the, the wrong word because medicine basically means pharmacia. Um but essentially, yes, yeah, so she's going around um, doing X, Y, and Z, um, insuring people's birth certificates, who's the beneficiary, getting due and powers of attorney, what for, um, and she's just giving people little bits of information, helping them out, and then uh, doesn't want me telling the blackfellas what I know about the language. Um, Stephen Limby didn't want me telling anyone on the Commonwealth show, and then the the linguist on the uh, Zoom, other Zoom meeting for Common Law didn't want me telling anyone. And all he was talking, oh, we're just here to talk about trusts um, and register to, to them to a bankruptcy and all this kind of shit. Um, my channel was taken down. The one with parent, which shows that parent means the one who uh, abandoned their property, and the one that also showed that the the Bank of England's coat of arms is used by every uh, medical association around the world. That was taken down, and it wasn't... When you take down a clip on YouTube, you still see the clip where it used to be. Even that was gone. Um, so, yeah, uh, I've got no answers. So, Hillbilly Houso has uh, a place in Picton, a place in Buxton, and a place that was about... 10 minutes south, I can't remember, uh, it'll come to me, but um, I can't remember the destination, that was about, it was a good 100, 150 metres by a, a good uh, 70 to 100 metres deep, 150 by about 
70 to 100 deep. So whatever that works out to be. Um, it's probably bigger than that, actually. Uh, I never walked the full uh, width of the property. It went back and then it went left. Um, and so, yeah, basically, uh, um, when, I, when I went to Picton, there was light coming through the tiles in the roof. And um, uh, when I came back to the station, and so I went up there and fixed up for fixed the wiring and everything. Um, I'm, you know, like, <laughs> these people shouldn't be growing. <laughs> <laughs> it's one that shouldn't burn the house down. Uh, anyway, so that's to give you a bit of background. You've seen the uh, emails. If you want a copy, I'll send it to you via email. All right? Nothing illegal about it. Someone sends me an email, I can send it on. It's up to you, if you what you what you do with it. But um, yeah, don't reference my channel. <laughs> And um, yeah, uh, try and remove email addresses and stuff. So there you go. It's a uh, it's a hard one to, to take in, but uh, I I believe it. I believe a lot of it. All right, there you go. That's me done. <laughs>